And yet, it's nothing about being divine or worthy of worship, but a man approved of God to deliver a message to people to worship God alone and to tell the people that yes, a prophet will come after him, that you should hear, hear and listen to him. And that was his message. That's why he said earlier on as we read, you cannot bear it. I have many things to tell you, but you can't bear it. But when he comes, the spirit of truth. Spirit of truth? Yes. But the Holy Spirit came. No, that's not the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is something that you know is not someone who's going to be required of God will kill him if he doesn't speak. So, so, so who is this? So, so, this is so, the so Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Messenger of God. Really? Yes. Are you... Have, have you Prophet, have, because have he, you, said, have, he said, have you read, have you read he that, said, have you those, that, he said, this spirit of truth will guide unto all the truth. So, so, Can you name me five things that the Holy Spirit has brought that Jesus Christ didn't bring already? New things, new guidance. New guidance. He says, these things I'm about to tell you, you cannot bear it now because you're not ready. But when I go and I send him, he will give you all the truth. Holy Spirit. So that means Holy the, Spirit. the Holy that Spirit. means the yeah. new truth. Yeah. So now, yes, no, 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 give me five no, new no, truths no, no, no. that the Holy Spirit no. has brought. Where you get John the new 14, truth? 26. What's the new truth? That's what it says. Here, here, here. John 14, Other than what Christ has already yes, brought. Yes, here, here, here. Let, let's, let's, just, let's, just, just, just read it. If you analyze something, here the sentence is in the future. But the thing is, you know what? The Holy Spirit was already there. He was already there in the womb. Can we, can you know, we, can we? He was in the womb of Elizabeth and he was on the womb of Mary. So he, he, oh, this uh, spirit of truth no. is no. how to take no, no, no. a spiritual prerogative. The no. verse that you read earlier is in a future sense. He says, I have many things John to tell you. John 14 26. When he says, I have many things John to tell you, so tell us those things that the Holy Spirit has said. John 14, 26. The Holy Spirit is going to tell the more things that... Like you give some examples. Yeah. Newer truths no. that the Holy Spirit has brought. Here it is, 14, 26. Can you read it? Yeah, but the Comforter, mm -hmm. which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things yeah. and bring all things to your remembrance. Whatsoever I had said to you. Okay, so what, now, what is the new thing? Look, it tells you here, but the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, which is the insertion. Not, that's it, the it, it is not, it's not Muhammad. Look, do you know why it says which is the Holy Spirit? If, if not Muhammad. Look, let's understand something. This verse is a kind of telling verse, because yeah. the reason why this parenthesis is included. It's included. No, no, no. no, no. no. What, I'm, what I'm saying is, look. Where's the parenthesis? No, it's not there. When, no, no. What I'm, a parenthetical remark is included. Do you know why it's included like this? If I said, oh, and and um, John, who is the president of Uganda, who said this. Do you know why this inclusion is there? Because people will consider this John actually maybe another John. That is why they've, in fact. To your surprise, do you know there are many scholars within Christendom? They believe there are other people who are referred to as the Paraclete? <laughs> no, no, no. No, no. Aren't there many scholars? Yeah, yeah um, uh, Windish, uh, Rudolf Boltman. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, come on. In his commentary to John's yeah. gospel. But you didn't know this because you were not told by your church, yeah. by <laughs> no. your priests. No. Your That's the problem. Yes, they don't tell you this. But they only feed you this information which is popular for the laity, not for the scholars. No, no, no. The scholarship, they know. The Holy Spirit is a scholar. Let me tell you something. May I ask you this question? You bring, question. bring us one example where Jesus was unable to tell them about the truth and guidance then to these disciples. But the Holy Spirit has not brought to you now. Go ahead. Listen. Just one example. Listen. That don't prove anything. No, no. I would no, like no, you no, to no, that, give us... That don't prove anything. I'm sorry. Yes. Listen. So basically, prove... you believe it's the Holy Spirit because of this... No, insertion. I'm told it's the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yes. It's this, Holy Spirit. Listen, I'm just listen. telling you the reason why this inclusion is there 
is just to mislead you in accepting hey, that, that it was someone else. But that's definitely not Mohammed. That's no, not Mohammed. No, hang on. Because, hang on, hang on. Wait, 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 wait a moment, wait a moment. Let me, let me, let me explain to you something. No, no, no. I'm sorry. What did Christ say about God? Did he say God is a trinity? Did he say that? There's not trinity in the Bible. There's none said trinity. Thank you. In the Bible. Did he say that? Wait, 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 wait. Can you tell him that? No, 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 he, trinity, knows that. He? he knows that. No, he maybe he doesn't. He knows that. So, so, did Jesus ever preach to people that God is a trinity? But your interpretation Excuse me. of what we mean by trinity. May you kindly no, clarify? We just, we just want to have clarification. Did Christ say God is three persons? Listen, what I'm saying. We are listening. What I'm saying is this. You won't find the word Trinity in the Bible. No, no, it's That's not, not what he's asking now. So he's asking a specific question. I'm saying, sorry, sorry. But he's asking you a specific question. Yeah. Did Christ say God is three persons? I'm not a one pointer. I'll explain. Okay, explain. Let explain. Me explain. Go ahead. Take your time. Right. God the Father. Why do tell me God the Father? God the Son. God the Holy Spirit. Right? That's Bible. So what I'm saying is, and what you you seem to think that we think is not what we think. Remember what you're there's explaining. One God, there's one God. No, there's you're one explaining God. Christ. Did he listen, say God listen, is three persons? Listen. That is the background of our question. L look, like, we are not going to go away from this question. No, no, no. So please explain where in your you, explanation where, you where Christ no, sorry, you says, no, no, did no, God no. exist? I'll Do God you exist why. as three I'll persons? I tell you why. Because you go into scripture and pick out verses without really following what the other verses say, and then you where in the here. other verses wait, wait, Christ wait, wait, identifies no, God is a three person. Let me finish. Then you come here with a, a, a verse, and if somebody don't seem to understand where they're going, it they just come to trap people. It's not like that. It's not trapping. No, no, no. It's giving you no, unambiguous, no, clear cut no, statements. No. And you go no. for the unclear, no. ambiguous verses. I believe in what the Bible says. Okay, okay. So, can you answer this question so, then? No, no, listen, I believe what the Bible says. Can you answer this question? So, now, so if you now, if you go to your scripture. Huh? You ask me a question though. Yes. Let me come to it as I said before. Jesus is God. And that's, that's what you have This is not my question. This is not my question. I'll repeat the question. Did Christ say God is God three person. He don't have to say that. <laughs> this is my question. Did he say it? Is the question. Did he say it? My question is. Did quite clear. I just tell you? Did Christ say God is three person? But you're not listening to me. I just tell you the Bible says God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. That's what I just told you. Okay. So now, just you say this is the this Father, is the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. But Christ, on John 17, yeah. he said, you. To get eternal life, you, the Father, yeah. you are the only true God. What does that mean? Yeah, you know what he's saying here. Everything that Jesus did, he did as an example for us. Everything. This is another question. No. Why is it that Christians, some Christians like yourself now, if we ask a direct specific question, instead of answering it directly, you answer something else. If I say, what is your name? You say, I don't drive a car. No, no, because I'll tell you why. Because if you could go into John 14, 26, okay. and tell me that's Muhammad. Wait, no, no, the no, question no, we are asking no, is no, this. No, no. Look, look, no, look no. what you're doing now. My brother asked you a specific question. Yeah. When Jesus identifies God, does he identify God as three persons? The Father. How many persons is the Father? We, we talk about that over and over. How many no, persons is the Father? No, 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 wait. Excuse no, me. No. The Father is no, one person. So you are telling us Jesus no. identifies God as one person? Hold me. Hold me. Hold me. Sorry. No. Are you no, no. identifying? No. According to Jesus, I stop God you. is one person. I can stop you there. We have discussed this over and over here in this can you, part. Can you just ag no, agree no, with that? Me. Hold me. No, no, hold me. With all due respect. Hold me. If, I can, if I can add something. Hold me. So we have discussed that. Nice talking to you, my friend. We'll talk again. You take care. We have discussed that over and over here. And I'm going to keep repeating myself all the time. Not only me, we all talk about that here all the time. But why are you avoiding the question we ask? I'm not avoiding the question. So, so then answer it. If I, if I I'm not avoiding the question. Be a sincere okay. individual and I, say, I, okay, let me answer your question. You asked, I am sincere. does Jesus identify God as three persons? The answer is, I don't know. Maybe he does. I don't care. 
actually know he identifies three persons or he identifies not three persons? Which one? He said, I am the father's one. Okay. That's so, not the answer. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so, you so, don't have to believe it, so, but I'm so, telling you what the Bible says. What's the question we asked? Okay, so, so, I'm, I'm going to paraphrase the question. No, I, I hear you. you. Hold on, hold on. I hear no, you didn't understand hold the question. That's why it's going to paraphrase. No, you did not. I'm, I'm, I'm the going question. to paraphrase you the didn't. question. So why didn't you answer when, it then? When Christ said, when he Christ said, you, the Father, the only yeah. true God, the only true God, yes. would you accept the fact the Father is the only true God? God is true. No. The only true God, yeah. Is the Father the only true Father, God? The Father the only true God. Yes. Is the Son the only true God as well? Yes. Then you don't know English no, language, do you? Me, hold me. Uh, let me. Let me explain to you then. Go ahead, no, explain. No, let me explain. Go ahead, explain. Let me explain to you. Can you speak in English as well? I guess because the English that, no, you, let me explain. that you explained was in English. Let me explain. Go ahead. God himself took on human flesh, the incarnate word. God, yes. God did not incarnate. I said God. No, God yes. did not incarnate. Who incarnated? No, no, no. Jesus. Right. That Jesus was, is no, not the Father. But no, I, you're not allowing me. I can Let have me. to. I have to correct you. You're not, you're not don't don't use the word God not when it's not me. God. Jesus is the incarnate Word of God. Well, he's the incarnate Word of God. Okay. So and you have God, and Jesus is the incarnate no, Word. No, listen, listen. So now tell us. No, 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 no. Listen, listen. He's, he's, listen. He, he's the Son, the no, Father. No, listen, listen, listen. No, no. You, you, you can't confuse me. You can't. Not confusing you. you we are, we are deconfusing you. I want clarification. I'm deconfusing you to make it clear to clarification, sir. You, you, you can't confuse me. No, no, no. I'm just want. It looks like he doesn't want to get clarification. And, and, he's the Father, and the Son. Remove your confusion. He's the Father, the Son. I can explain that to you. Okay, explain. He's the Father, the Son. I can explain to you. Look. Did you hear his question? Listen. Uh, Did, listen no, no. To me. You can read. No, just ask question. No, no. You, you can read. Did you hear his question? I gonna explain this to him. How no, no, no. I, how Did you hear his person? question? I heard his question. What was it? But I can explain. No, no, what was the question? No, no, no. Question? Sorry. I can explain this. What was no, his no. question? You're not going to tell me. What to was the question? No, I tell you how we're going to. What was the question? What, what was my question? Listen, in the beginning. Excuse me. What was the question? In the beginning. What was the question, my, my uncle? What was the question? I'm going to explain. No, what was the question you're explaining? You can explain. No problem. What Take was the question? To explain, but just, just Maybe you didn't hear it. Shall we what, tell you again? What was my uh, question? Go ahead, my brother. Tell, tell him the question again. Is the son? Is the son the father? Listen, I tell you, I'm going to explain it. I heard you. I tell so you you've heard it. the question, right? I said you're going to explain it. Okay. So he's going to explain, is the father and the son no. the same thing? Listen. Identical? Listen. You, you, or there's a distinction listen. between the son and the father? You don't think for me. I explained to you what's here. Explain, yeah. explain. Listen. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. Now let's go down further. Verse 14. And Verse the word became says, flesh. And the, yeah, of course. And the word. I know your Bible. Don't worry about it. Carry uh, on. Yeah, I know you know. But what That's you why I'm telling you but what to you learn from want, us. But what, learn from you, no, no. Yes. What will you understand what that the word became flesh? Right. So, what so, do you understand? Uh, can I answer now? Yes. Please. Thank you. So, you are answering my brother's question. Yeah. Is the son the father? And you quoted these two verses. Yeah. Has these two verses answered the question? It will answer the question. Has it answered it? It will answer the question. Has if it? I go on. Has it? Has it? The it answer is no, it hasn't. So let me ask I mean, you again. So le question. let us ask you again. Yeah. Is the father the son? Is the son the father? The father is the father. The son is the son. Good. So is the son the father? I said the son is the son. Okay. Let me ask you two questions. Right. You have to make it easy for him. No, no, is the son easy. the son? Yeah. Is the father the father? Yes. That's what question number one. Yes. Question number two. Is the father the son? The father is the father. No, that's question number one. We answered it already. But question number two. You. Question number yeah. two. Question number one is answered. Thank yeah. you very much yeah. for answering directly. Yeah. Question number two. Yeah. Is the father the son? The father is not the son. Thank you. Thank you. It took you quite some no, time no, to no, answer it. No, now, no. to move on. Yeah. Since the father is not the son, mm -hmm. and Christ is saying, you the father is the only true God. Yeah. So, who is the only true God, the father or the son? Yeah. Who is it? No, no, wait, 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 slowly, listen. slowly. We're going to take step by step now. According to Christ, who is the only true God, the father or the son? The father is the true God. The father is the only true God, yeah. who is not the son. So, according to Christ, uh -huh. is the son the only true God? Who is not the father? L listen. 
Listen. I am listening. So is the whole world listening? Yeah, but, yeah, but give me from scripture. Tell us now, if according to Christ, is the Son I'm the only true God? You. I'm going to explain to you. You're not going to you force want to me to. this? Where can we get this? I'll explain. Where can we get this? I'll explain this. Okay, okay. Where can we get let it me, from the Bible? Let me explain it to you. Let me you. No, scripture. Okay. Where does it say there are three persons in God? I'm going to explain. I'm going to explain. No, I want to read a st statement in the scripture. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, three in one. No. Where yeah, yeah, three this? in one. Yeah, exactly. That statement is beautiful if you can show it to us. Go ahead. Can you show us in the, from the scripture? Um, please, Jesus go ahead. Jesus said, I am the Father of one. You know that. One what? One, I mean one what? Yeah, exactly. One what? If I say, I am my brother who are one, one what? Yes, we are one. One what? Okay, let me... We talk about the hypostatic. Look, look. You can bring hypostatic union and any of yeah. these jargons. My brother are one in one hypostasis. What does it mean? Okay, let me, let me just explain. You're not, you're not engaging with us, are you? I and my father, I and my brother, yeah. I and my friend are one. One yeah. what? You're going to put words in my mouth. No, but the thing is... You, no, you can't put words in my mouth. Do you know why you find it difficult, this conversation? You know, I don't find it difficult. So why are you answering that? Do you, do you know what the I'm answering from the word of God. Yes, I'm going, uh, okay. yes you wanna, I can answer from this. No, you can. No. You know what? You one can. day when God will ask you in the day of judgment. I can answer from the word one of God. One second, one hey, second. Hey, hey. I'm going to now leave now, but I want to let you... You don't have to leave yet. Let me. No, no, I you. have to leave. Do you know why I have to leave? When it comes to this point, I'm going to leave. In the day of judgment, when God will ask you, a Muslim came and demonstrated to you with clear and ambiguous explanation that Jesus is not God, is not the Father, and he himself said, the Father is the only true God, and you rejected this understanding, you will have no excuse in the day of judgment. Let me say something. I will be a witness against you. You wouldn't be. I will be a witness against you. You wouldn't be. I will be a witness against you. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you Take why you care. wouldn't be. Okay. You need the Holy Spirit of God to understand the things you hold of on God. To this and put you in the and you don't have the Holy Spirit of God. I can tell you that for sure. Okay. It's the Holy Spirit that explains. Do you want to speak with confidence like these amazing personalities? Every single one of these amazing speakers have taken the same program with Brother Muhammad Arshad. Muhammad Arshad has helped develop all of us. It's extremely beneficial to do this course. Definitely uh, recommend this course. Expect to become a better communicator and understanding the underpinnings of effective communication. Go to dawaconfidence.com now to access the free life-changing training now.